to a man and wife, three sons were born. On the same day, a bright Sunday morn, three boys with exactly the same chance in life. Their daddy was a wealthy man, they'd know no hunger or strife. Their names were Carol, Gerald, and Harold E. The years passed quickly, it seemed, for the three. Carol studied law with a bachelor's degree. He'd read law books to weigh in the night. To be the world's greatest lawyer was his goal in life. Gerald studied numbers. He was like a machine. Adding, subtracting, multiplying. Accounting was his dream. The books were untouched by the last of the three. Just God's holy Bible with interest heralded. But he had read it and recited in the study for days, without eating or sleeping, learning of God's ways. The rest of the family would go to town, but Harold E. would stay home and through the woods and the fields, he'd walk around. They couldn't even get him to go to the barber shop. Several months passed and his folks told him his foolishness to stop. That his hair was a disgrace, not to mention the beard that grew long on his face. And at last, they decided that Harold E. must leave home. Unlike Carol and Gerald, he had no business of his own. And his reputation was hurt in the family name. The weird boy with the beard, sandals, and the bangs. Six years passed. No one knew where he went. Then the county was told that a revival was coming in the world's biggest tent. Why, it seemed the whole county was there opening night. Not one empty seat. When the missionary walked to the pulpit, the crowd rose to their feet. Everyone stared in shock and disbelief. Whispers went through the crowd. I believe that's Harold E. The missionary held a closed Bible in his hand, spoke with a voice soft and kind, and recited the book of Genesis, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Revelations, line at a time. Why, it lasted for hours. But not one left their seat. God's power had been given and delivered by Brother Harold E. In the fourth row from the front sat his mother and dad and his two brothers and their wives. He looked at him and smiled and said, God bless you for coming tonight. Let us pray. God, thank you for the books that give knowledge to men of science, fiction, figures, and laws of the land. But most of all, thank you for the book of life eternally, your holy Bible that you taught every word to Harold E. Amen.